first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so friends here in this lesson number three on the topic geometry so triangle based questions so now we will be solving in the third lesson some question that is based on a triangle right so before kindly before watching this video right do not forget to watch the previous two videos because previous two video is the basics of geometry category triangle right so because you should know what are all the properties of a triangle are there what we learned in lesson number one so lesson number one we have learned four important properties of a triangle and then I have explained about a median concept right so first triangle important property is sum of three angles of a triangle should be equals to 180 degree which is the property number one and the second property is uh, when you add any two sides we know that in a, in a triangle we have three sides so when you add any two sides of a triangle that should always be greater than the third side if it is less than the third side then definitely it is not a triangle so that's the second property and the third property is an exterior angle outside angle right so exterior angle is always equals to sum of opposite interior angles so on the fourth last property if the side is a longer side opposite angle Angle will be largest always right so shorter side opposite angle will be smallest so what we uh, learned in the first video four property and then we have uh, learned some of the different types of triangles if two sides are same isosceles triangle if all sides are same equilateral triangle so we have learned all those types of triangle in the first lesson and then in the previous lesson, we learned one of the most important concept for many competitive exam that is uh, by using the angles, right, by using the sides, we have to say which type of triangle it is, whether it's a right angle triangle or acute angled triangle or obtuse angle triangle. So small concept what we learned in the sec second lesson, but it's the most, most important concept, right. So now in this third lesson, we will be solving some question that is exactly what you can able to see in most of the exams like railway exams or uh, SSC exam or if you are preparing for any campus interviews right college campus interview aptitude session you can able to find these side this kind of exact level questions so when you uh, preparing for any other competitive exams like medium level competitive exams try to learn this kind of question right so uh, here we will be solving some questions so do not forget to understand what exactly I am saying and start practicing by searching some questions in the Google right you will get more number of questions so start practicing the questions after watching this video right so now let me move on to all the questions that is based on a geometry triangle Question number one. So in a triangle ABC, AB equal to AC and the angle of BAC is equal to 40 degree, then the external angle of B is. So just look at the question. Our target is to find what is the external angle of B. So if you are first time solving a question like triangle, beginner level questions, then draw a diagram itself right just draw a diagram what they have given in the question is in a triangle abc so there is a triangle that is a b and c so let's let's fix this as a and b and c so according to the question at the second point what they are saying is ab equal to ac that means the side of ab and the side of ac is equal if these two sides are equal, then it is called as an isosceles triangle. Yes or no, right? If two sides are equal, then we can say it's as an isosceles triangle. And then the third point, they have given an angle of BAC. So angle of BAC, which will be 40 degree. So when just, just look at the question carefully, they have given one angle. Finding the remaining two angle is very easy. Why? Because it is an isosceles triangle. If it is an isosceles triangle, two sides are equal. If two sides are equal, then two angle will always be also be equal, right? And this two angle finding will be easy. Why? Because when we add all the three sides of a triangle, it should be equal to 180 degree. Already we know one angle is 40 degree. 180 minus 40 will be 140 degree. And 140 degree, we have to split into two equal equal of then this will be 70 degree and this will be 70 degree so friends understood or not why I'm writing same number because it's an isosceles triangle if it is an isosceles triangle 
the both the side if same then the angle will also be same so we can say that one angle is 70 another angle will be 70 and the third angle what they have given in the question is 40 when we add all the three angle result, resultant value should be 180 degree so now according to the question our target is to find the external angle of b see b external angle we know the internal angle of b is 70 but our target is to find the external angle we know that the total angle should always be equal to 180 degree out of 180 degree this angle is 70 then remaining will be 110 degree so we can say that answer for the first question is 110 degree understood or not if, it, if we draw a perpendicular line this will be 90 degree and this will be 90 degree so the total angle will be 180 degree right so here we got an internal angle which is 70 degree but according to the question our target to find the external angle of b so external angle of b will be the remaining 180 minus 70 will be 110 degree right so which will be the answer for this question it mostly if you know the property and if you know the concept of a triangle solving is easy don't think that geometry is a difficult topic it's an easy topic once you understand the concept and the basic properties some question will be difficult I, I will definitely say that some questions you have to think and solve but mostly if you are preparing for some medium level competitive exams you can able to see only this kind of question so practice more like this right so answer for the first question is 110 degree next question so ABC is an isosceles triangle such that AB equal to AC and the angle of B is equals to 35 degree AD is the median to the base BC then BAD is so after reading this question they have given what type of triangle it is ABC is an isosceles triangle so first let me draw a triangle here so which has a point ABC and many students usually they have a doubt why you are fixing A here can I fix ABC here or ABC here yes you can right but in the question some of the question I am saying some of the question they will give you the uh, base that is BC or AB is the base CD is the base just read the question again and see ABC is an isosceles triangle where AB is equals to AC angle of B is equals to 35 degree AD is the median to the base BC to the base BC right that means in a triangle they have mentioned this BC as a base in case if they didn't mention the base BC then you can consider it as ABC or ABC whatever way you can draw a diagram right but if they have mentioned BC is the base then you should definitely draw BC like this right so the remaining A will be here and what they are saying is they have given the angle of B which is 35 degree and they have directly said that it is an isosceles triangle and important point they have mentioned is the median AD is the median median means in the first video itself I have explained it if you draw a median then definitely this triangle will be split into two equal half which is called as a median for a triangle we have three medians right so now this is a median A and D is a median to the base BC so now we know that it's an isosceles triangle if it is an isosceles triangle a b a c both are same if both are same then both the angle will also be same so one angle is 35 degree then we can say that this angle will also be 35 degree right so what is the next step and what we need to find here is our target is to find b a d so b a d we have to find only this angle small angle b a d so now according to the question value we know that it's an isosceles triangle if it's an isosceles triangle we found two angles are same so 35 degree 35 degree total angle will be 70 degree so if this two angle is 70 degree 180 minus 70 will be 110 so we can say that this total angle of a will be 110 degree right only then we can say sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree so we found the total angle is 110 degree but our target is to find only this angle and we know that if we draw a median it splits the triangle into two equal half so 110 divided by 2 will be 55 degree and 55 degree so we can say that the angle of a will be 55 degree so which will be the answer for this question 
So friends understood or not our target is to find what is the angle of BAD. So this angle alone our target is to find. So we can say that the angle will be 55 degree. So all the values and there are different ways to solve a question. Some students will ask this if you draw a median then this angle will be 90 degree right because median will be a straight line. So this is 90 degree and this is 35 degree. Can I draw can I find this value easily? Yes when you add these three angle it should be equals to 180 degree right so 55 35 will be 90 degree 90 90 180 this is another way of finding an answer because when we draw a median line this angle will be 90 degree so this 90 35 so 90 plus 35 the remaining 180 when you subtract it resultant will be 55 degree so when you add these three angle it should be equals to 180 degree there are many different ways to find the answer but understand the logic right so what kind of logic and what kind of technique that we need to apply here that is most important only then you can able to solve next next level of questions right so this will be the answer for question number two next question so in an isosceles triangle if the unequal angle is twice the sum of equal angle then the each equal angle is so in the, in the question they have told that only it's a isosceles triangle other than that isosceles triangle they didn't mention any angles here any angle values here but what we need to understand here from the question is if an unequal angle is twice the equals to sum of equal angle so they have mentioned that it's a triangle is an isosceles triangle so if it is an isosceles triangle we know that Two, two sides of a triangle will be equal. Right? So let's, let's consider A, B and C. So when we consider A, B and C, it's an isosceles triangle. So we can say that angle of B will be equal to angle of C. Because it's an isosceles triangle, if two sides are same, two angle will also be equal. So angle of B will be equals to angle of C. And here, this angle will be equal and this angle of A will be unequal. Right? Why? Because they have mentioned that an unequal angle. That means for an isosceles triangle, if two angles are equal, then this will be an unequal angle. And what they are saying is, if the unequal angle is equals to, so unequal angle A right, is equals to twice the sum of equal angle. Equal angle will be angle of B and angle of C. So friends, understood or not how I wrote this? Right? So unequal angle is equals to twice the sum of equal angle B and C. So now according to the question, our target is to find then each equal angle is. That means our target is to find this angle, equal angle. Either if you find B or C, both are same. Right? Either if you find C or B, because both angle is going to be same. You can find any one of it. So now what we can do here is, so angle of A is equals to 2 instead of b right just just listen carefully instead of b i am writing it as c and c why because we know that b and c both are same both are equal so this can be written as angle of a is equals to 2 2 times of angle of c so angle of a is equals to 4 times angle of c so finally we got the angle of a equal to 4 times of c and we have written this expression by using the sentence what they have given in the question. So now our target is to find angle of B or angle of C, any one angle. And we know that if it is a triangle, sum of three angles of a triangle should be equals to 180 degree. So angle of A plus angle of B plus angle of C is equals to 180 degree. And angle of A, just now we found which is resultant will be equal to 4 angle of C. Angle of B is equals to angle of C keep c value as it is 180 degree so 4 5 6 so 6 angle of c is equals to 180 degree so angle of c is equals to 30 degree so finally we got in an isosceles triangle where angle of c is equals to 30 degree so if this angle is 30 degree then angle of b will also be 30 degree because of isosceles triangle and remaining finding an a angle will be easy 180 minus 60 degree resultant will be this angle but now according to the question our target is to find each equal angle is that means we need to find the equal angle equal angle is b and c so equal angle will be 30 degree so which will be the answer for this question and some students will have a doubt why you consider b as c can i consider c as b yes you can if you consider b as c you are going to get the same answer right so substituting here instead of you can substitute 4c here a is equals to 4c and here b instead of c you can write it as b right it's your wish right instead 
instead of b you can keep b as it is and here you, you will get 4b right when you substitute instead of uh, c as b right then you will get b plus b this will be 2b and this will be 4b when you substitute in this equation the complete equation converted into b and you will get a final answer angle of b will be 30 degree whatever b because it's an isosceles triangle either you get answer for b or answer for c both are same right so you can go with any one method right so this will be the answer for this question so next question so in the figure given angle of bac angle of abc is equals to 2 is to 3 so find the measure of angle of bac so first they have given a figure directly they have given a triangle itself as well as they have given a value angle value in terms of ratio right so let's fix this as a b and c as per the given figure so they have given an exterior angle this is called as an exterior angle right exterior angle what they have given here is 120 degree and according to the question they have given two angle that is BAC so BAC and ABC are in a ratio 2 is to 3 so that means this angle is two part and this angle is three part so they have given a value in terms of ratio 2 is to 3 so let's consider the A value as 2x and B value as 3x so now according to the question our target is to find the measure of ABC that means our target is to find this angle this is the target what we need to find here so just look at the uh, diagram right they have given one angle that is an exterior angle and in the property we have learned it right if it exterior angle if they have given an exterior angle third property we have learned exterior angle 120 degree is equals to sum of opposite side interior angle sum of opposite side interior angle so 2x and 3x so total will be 5x is equals to 120 degree so x is equals to 24 degree so finally we got an answer the value of x is equals to 24 degree once we got the value of x finding all the remaining stuff is easy why because when you substitute x here that is 24 into 2 will be 48 48 degree will be the angle of a and 3 into 24 will be 72 degree 72 degree will be the value of b and what about the value of c we know that exterior angle is 120 and the total angle will be equal to 180 degree if this is 120 then remaining this will be 60 degree so it is easy to find so now according to the question our target is to find a b c that means our target is to find b angle so 24 into 3 will be 72 degree which will be the angle of b right so these are the easy ways that we can able to solve a question and there are many different ways also to solve this question not only this method you can logically apply and you can solve the question because if this angle is 120 degree then remaining this will be 60 degree only then we can say total 180 so if c angle is 60 degree and the remaining part out of 180 degree the remaining part is 120 degree yes or no because angle of three sides of a triangle should be equals to 180 and we found one is 60 degree so remaining two will be 120 degree out of 120 we have to find what is two part and three part so that is one way of solving a question so there are different different way you can solve a triangle question if you understand the logic right so uh, here in this video i have solved only limited number of questions only few questions i have solved just to understand how the triangle question in your exams usually you can able to see usually this is the level of the question that you can able to see on railway staff selection and most of your uh, state level uh, competitive exams but still I will be posting more videos on triangle because you have to learn what is called as median and if it is a median how to find the median length so there are more steps to learn in the topic triangle so just a small video on lesson number three to understand what is the level of the question and how the question will looks like based upon the question how we need to apply the property to solve it so all those stuff we have learned here I hope you understood so how to solve the basic level questions of a triangle so next next lesson start watching the next lesson after posting it and just keep on practicing more number of question so again triangle and circle in a geometry which are most important for many competitive exams if it is a circle I have already posted a video based on quads angle etc and now it's a triangle video we are watching right so thank you so much friends for watching this video and if you really like it share it to your friends those who are preparing for the competitive exams right so thank you so much for watching it bye